Hey everyone, this is Hiren and you're watching Coding Monk. In this particular video series, we'll be learning about how to set up a Bitbucket pipelines and how to set up continuous integration and continuous deployment. So in previous tutorial, we learned that how you can configure and how you can enable Bitbucket pipeline in your repository. In this particular video tutorial, we will learn how to set up a continuous deployment and continuous integration with Laravel project hosted on DigitalOcean. So let's get into it. As you can see, I have already set up a coding monk tutorial repository in which I have fresh installation of Laravel project. And here you can see on test.codingmonk.tech, I have this tutorial project. So this project is hosted on DigitalOcean VPS. Now let's see what we will need to do for setting up a continuous integration. In previous tutorial, we have seen that first you will need to enable your repository for pipelines. So let's do that first. I'm going into settings and then I need to enable this pipeline. So my pipeline is now enabled. Now it will also ask you to setting up a bitbucket pipelines.yaml file. Currently I am not setting up that YAML file because we will see how to set up a bitbucket pipelines for continuous integration and continuous deployment. In previous tutorial we have already seen that how you can build your application using bitbucket pipeline configuration file. So in local I have this project coding monk tutorials. This is a Laravel project as you can see. I have already set up everything in my local. Now what you will need to do is create a bitbucket-pipelines.yaml file. In this file we will write steps which we want to perform at a time of building our application in bitbucket pipelines container. We will be using PHP 7.2 docker image to build our application because our application is a PHP application. So we will be needed PHP 7.2. Now in Bitbucket pipeline configuration files, you can perform various steps for various branches. So in this video tutorial, we will be setting up a continuous deployment for master branch. So this is the syntax. First you will have to specify pipelines and then branches. In branches, we will be setting up for only master branch. So I am just writing master and then we will need to write steps. What steps are? First, we'll need to specify step name. Here it is a production. And then if you want to cache something, then you'll need to write it here. We are caching composer, so we don't need to download composer every time. And then the steps to build application. We are not performing tests, so I'm not writing test scripts. First we'll do is app get update and app get install unzip and then we will also install open ssh client now what i want to do is i want to log into my vps server and then i want to perform some commands which are written in execute.sh execute.sh is here so what i want to do is first i want to change my directory to where www coding monk tutorials and then i want to git pull whatever the changes i have pushed into my repository i want to pull that changes into my server which is a production server and then i want to perform composer install for example i may have added some dependency and then when i pull my changes i want to install that dependency so i can perform composer install and then i want to exit out of that vps server so this is a pipeline performing continuous integration and continuous deployment what will be happening is first you are writing a code and then you are pushing that code into your bitbucket repo we have configured our pipeline so it will build our application into bitbucket pipeline container which is using php 7.2 now that bitbucket pipeline container will log into our vps server and then grab a changes we have performed and pushed into our bitbucket repository and then it will install laravel dependency and it will exit out of vps server so you don't need to do manual push and pull. You just write code, push it to your repository and Bitbucket pipelines will build application and make it live to our production server. 
So how you can do that? We'll need to first configure SSH keys to access our VPS server and to access our repository from VPS server. So first, let me set up SSH key for this pipeline. I want to access my server from this pipeline container. So I need to first fetch fingerprint of my server which is coding monk dot tech. And add it to your host. Now second thing I will need to do is I will have to add this public key to my authorized keys. So, so my pipeline container builder can access my VPS. So I am putting this public key into my coding monk server and I will need to copy this public key into dot ssh authorized keys. So let me open it. This is my VPS server and I am opening this authorized keys file and putting this public key into this saving it and exit. That's it. Now I want to access my coding monk tutorial repository into this VPS without entering password or any other credential. So I need to set up SSH key into my Bitbucket SSH settings. So let me go to my Bitbucket settings and SSH keys. Now I want to add new SSH key. Before that I will need to generate SSH key on my VPS server. So here it is a command. It's SSH dash keygen. Select the file where you want to save your SSH key. Enter your passphrase, enter your passphrase again and your SSH key is generated. Now what you will need to do is copy your public SSH key which is located on root.sshidrsa.pub. This is a SSH key you will need to copy and paste it here. Here you can give a label, I am giving it to coding monk server. I will need to paste my public key here. So my server can access git repository without entering password or any other credentials. So I have logged into my VPS server using FileZilla. Now I am downloading this IDRSA. Let me copy this and let me paste it here. Now click on this add key and your SSH is set up. Now my VPS can access repository without entering any credentials. So that's it. We have already set up. So what you need to remember is set up a Bitbucket pipeline and define your steps. This is just sample steps. This is a script for continuous deployment and continuous integration. Now let's go to our local project. So these are some changes. I'm just adding it. And I'm pushing these changes to my repository. So changes are pushed. Now let's see If we go to pipelines, then we can see our pipelines must be running and we can check our status of application building. So currently it is in progress. If we click on this, we can see each and every step. So currently it is installing open SSH client and then it is also trying to log in into 
codingmonk.tag. Once it is logged in, it will run our execute.sh. Our execute.sh is changing directory to our project and pulling git repository or changes we have made and then it will install our dependency and it will exit out of server. So as you can see it has pulled all the changes it has installed dependency because we have no new dependency so it is not installing any dependency and then it has exited from server. Here you can see pipeline number one is successfully executed. Now let's make one change. In this application we don't have any authentication routes. So let's generate some authentication routes. Now authentication routes are generated and let's check what routes are added. We are adding it to our repository. And we are pushing that to our Bitbucket repository. So once it is pushed, our Bitbucket pipeline will be start executing. So if we go to pipelines, then yes, this is our commit name and it is being built. So we don't need to pull our repository manually every time. So it will automatically pull every changes and it will automatically build our application and add our dependency in production server. Our application is not being able to pull changes because we have some local changes here. We'll need to first stage those changes. So I'm just I'm going to perform this build again by clicking on to this rerun button. Let's see what happens this time. Login is successful. Still there is a merge conflict with Bitbucket pipeline. So let me fetch all the thing. And now let's rerun this. So now there should not be any merge conflict. So if we check our steps then it is saying already up to date. Our git repository is already up to date. And if we reload this project then you will find that there will be login and register man. So this is how you can set up continuous integration and continuous deployment using Bitbucket pipelines. Thank you very much.